The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Meet Skippy, a middle school student who doesn't really know how much he moves around every day. He's tried to count his steps, but he loses count after a few hundred steps or so. If only there were some tool to help him count the steps. Actually, there is. It's called a pedometer. Do you know what a pedometer is, Skippy? Well, a pedometer keeps track of how many steps you take. It will save you from having to count all those steps all the time. At the end of each day, you can write down how many steps you took. Measuring your movement will help you make movement goals and let you know how successful you are in meeting them. What's that, Skippy? You want to know where pedometers come from? Well, okay. Pedometers have been around for a long time. Early pedometers were bulky and awkward. Some people think that pedometers might have been invented by Leonardo da Vinci. What's up? While they were a good idea, they were not very accurate. Today's electronic pedometers are much more accurate. Pedometers work by measuring vertical movement, which make them great for activities like jumping rope and walking. Pedometers do have limitations. For example, they cannot measure swimming activities, and they shouldn't get wet. Activities using wheels, such as skateboarding, rollerblading, and biking, can't be measured accurately with a pedometer. Aww, don't be glum. Those activities are great ways to be active, but they can't be tracked with a pedometer. In your journal, just write down how many minutes you spend in those kinds of activities. So, roll on, Skippy. So, Skippy. Are you ready to learn how to put on your pedometer? First thing you should do is attach the pedometer to your waistband directly over your right knee. <laughs> there, that's the ticket. Next, attach the safety strap to your waistband or belt. Wear the pedometer close against your body. Don't let it flop around. Splendid! Now, open the pedometer. Carefully. Use the reset button to make sure it is set at zero. You be sure to take good care of that pedometer so it can be used over and over again. No, Skippy, don't take it in the bath. It is not a toy. Don't swing it around. And it won't survive being stepped on. Ah, that's the way to do it. Skippy, were you shaking your pedometer? Hey, that's cheating. Besides, shaking it can break the pedometer. Remember, if you shake it, we take it. All right, you rascal. Don't forget, we need accurate readings. Shaking it won't help you achieve your goals. Skippy is now going to demonstrate how to make sure the pedometer is recording steps accurately. Reset your pedometer to zero and take 20 steps. Halt! Check the count on your pedometer. Well, what does it say? If your count is more than 22 or less than 18, Readjust the pedometer on your waistline and make sure it is vertical. Then try again. At the end of each day, record your steps for the day and carefully store the pedometer in a safe place. Night, Skippy. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Morning, Skippy. Remember to check that your steps are at zero. Put it back on, and have a great day. Well done, Skippy. You are now on your way to moving more. Good luck. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.